Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. I have a super exciting video about a sleeper bolo, a bolo you may not know about. And I'm really, really excited to share this with you. Now, I was researching the item that I had an offer on, okay? And when I was researching, I saw something that I had sold on Whatnot. And I'm like, I know I sold that on Whatnot. And one of you may have bought it. So um, let's get started here. And we're going to talk about it. Oh, my goodness. Big money bolo brand that you guys definitely need to be looking for. I totally missed it. I'm okay with that because it is a sleeper. It is a sleeper. I sold it super cheap, um, which happens all the time to me on whatnot because I'm a grab and sell kind of girl. I'm not looking things up and a lot of resellers are sourcing from me. So come on over to whatnot. I have a referral link down below. You can get $15 to shop with that. And it's a lot of fun. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just come hang out. But let's talk about this sleeper bolo. Are you ready? So in my thumbnail, I put sleeper for a reason. Okay, we're going to look at the item I sold on eBay first and how I researched it and how I found out about the item I sold on whatnot. So let's get started. This is the item that I sold. And... It has some condition issues, but this is a super rare item. When I say rare, I could not find any others like it. And I didn't even know that this was a Martha Sleeper. That's her name. Um, I, I guess the artist. I didn't know it was a Martha Sleeper. All right. Somebody messaged me on eBay and said, you have a Martha Sleeper man. Uh, I'm sorry, men from Mars fur clip. And I'm like, OK, like, what's that mean? So uh, she was on Instagram. So I reached out to her and I looked at her page and um, I can't remember if I messaged her or not. But anyway, long story short, I had no idea what I had. I just knew that it was really old really interesting. And when I did a Google image search, I could not find anything. So I priced it high at $625 knowing that I would run a sale and it was at $387.50. All right. I'm just going to show you what the back looks like. This is what it said. This is it. It did not say Martha Sleeper. And you can see it's got condition issues, but again, super, super rare item. And I priced it at $387.50. I had an offer for $190. At that point, I was like, geez, do I have it like way overpriced? And I started doing some research. And I am just showing you the pictures here. I used WorthPoint to research. And when I was researching, I found another Bolo item that I sold on Whatnot. <laughs> and I'm going to show you what that sold for and what it's valued at. So stay tuned for that. But let's talk about this one first. So I went over to WorthPoint and I typed in Martha Sleeper. All right. So this guy, he's in pretty rough shape as well. And he sold for $295. So I felt like $190 was a little low for my item. And this is the only one I can find even on Worth Point that is from the Men from Mars series. Now, this one is brand new with the original tag, I do believe. Yes, original tag. And it's in mint condition. It went for $275, but that was in 2016. And prices have come up. Here it is in poor condition or not as good of condition. I mean, this one's mint with the tag and it went for 295 in 2022. So I would compare the condition of mine to the condition of this one. So I countered at $275 and I felt like that was very fair. And they countered at 235 and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to take the offer. So I took an offer of $235 for this brooch. All right. Now, let me show you something really cool. Uh, this sold May 29th of 2022. You guys know how people sell ephemera. 
Well, look here. This is a ad flyer. And you can see right here, I don't even know. I don't see that other one that says men from Mars, but this one is definitely mine. This guy is crusty and he was $2 back in the day. How cool is this? How cool is that? I just love it. So this is by Men from Mars by Martha Sleeper. So I don't even know if that other one was actually from the Men from Mars series. I don't know if there were only four, if this is just a flyer for the four that were out at the time. I don't know. But anyway, is that not cool? Super cool. So let's go back here. Um, actually, you know what? I do know this is Men from Mars because look, it's got the tag on it and it says Martha Sleeper and it says Men from Mars. And you can see it's got the same marking as mine. And that's all the photos there are, unfortunately. But isn't that cool? So this one is Cassidy Fid. <laughs> and it's by Martha Sleeper right there. How cool is that? Super cool, right? Okay, so now you've learned about that. Now I'm going to show you how I discovered another bolo. Are you ready? So I kind of went in and I was like, I'm just going to research Marsha, I'm sorry, Martha Sleeper on eBay. So I looked into it and these are just some of the other things that sell for big money, but she specializes in Bakelite. And there's mine. But look at this brooch. Okay, remember this, you guys. Remember it. 350 best offer on January 4th of 2024. Just remember it. All right. Here is this owl. All right. Do you see it? Do you see the hole? Do you see the shape? Okay, remember it. But just kind of look here at some of her items. Her main, oh my goodness, 157. Wait for it, guys. Just wait. Oh my goodness. Um, wow. Wow, wow. Okay, let's go in. Let's go to active. I, I've, my, my wheels are turning now that I'm seeing the prices on those. I want to see what's active right now. So we are still under highest first. So this one's at 525. All right, let's see if there's any others here. I'm just looking, looking, looking. Martha Sleeper's what I have in. Because sometimes you can source on the other platforms. This one's got four bids right now. So they're doing an auction on that one. Okay, so that looks like it. The rest of it is whatever this stuff is. Um, okay, so we looked there. Now let's go over here. I'm on Worth Point. Look, you guys, the bird brooch in 2018, it says $1,800. Now I can't verify that this was actually paid for. This guy is a doughboy pin, soldier doughboy, it says. Um, these are all Bakelite. Here's the birds again, $1,695 in 2013. I just can't believe the value would go down so much. So here is where Worth Point comes in handy. If the people that sold these over here, let me find it again. Let's see, right here, 350. And they took a best offer, 157. I mean, that's all the market. They they put it on an auction. But if they would have looked on Worth Point, I mean, they knew it was Martha Sleeper. If they would have looked at Worth Point, they would have seen these sold prices. I mean, that's the same one, right? Let me see. Is that the same one? Okay, actually, look. It looks like the birds are facing a different direction. So I don't know if that matters. Let's see that other one that was 350. Now, these are facing this way, but there's only three. So maybe there's some that are different. Okay, so let's go back to researching. I'm researching with you guys right now. Uh, so we've got, these are some of the ones to look for. Okay. Here's a three one that looks like the one 1,035, but lots 862 on this one, but it looks like they're all a little different probably because they're all custom made, right? 325 on that or 725 on that one. Let me see. Let's type in birds and get more specific here. 
All right. So here we go. There's 21. So here are your prices. 862, 725, 550, 495, 468 in 2022, 440 in 2023, uh, 200 in 2023. So yeah, I'm going to say these people undersold these major and they have kind of brought the price down. But see, this was 2011, 133. And then back up here is 157. So the dates are all kind of mixed up. Wow, that is incredible. All right, so let's look here. Um, I typed in Martha Sleeper Necklace, and this one is the highest priced. It's called uh, Matches with Cigarettes. <laughs> $1,800. This one is a school days, $850. $7.99 for another school days. How many of you would have looked at this twice? I mean, you might have because it's pretty cool, but wow. This one's nautical. And this one is a mixture of pins. Another school days, 500 range on these. So definitely be on the lookout. Also keep in mind the little charms because you may find one of these charms that is not connected to the necklace and you could sell that as a replacement. All right. Look at that one. That's on um like a rope or whatever. 395. Okay, so let's go on to my video and I found the video where I got the owls and I'm just going to play this for you guys. And so there's two of those. This might look cute side by side. Oh, uh, isn't this from a movie or something? I don't know if it is. I mean, it's definitely a vintage brooch. If you want to see the whole video and how the lamp turned out, this is the video you want to go to. It's called Crafting with Vintage Owl Brooches, Big Money Bolo, How to Pack and Ship, Do-It-Yourself Brooch Collection. Did I use them all or did I save some for my whatnot show? <gasps> I may have saved a few for my whatnot show. Do you guys want to see what I have left? So here is just a small preview of some of the owls that I will eventually be bringing to whatnot. I don't know when. Um, this one here is like a little trinket, so I couldn't really use that on the lamp. This one is also a trinket. It's so beautiful. This one was awesome, awesome, awesome. Now this guy right here, look how fun he is. He's back, uh, he has a hole, so you could probably put a chain through it and wear it as a necklace. And, you know, I thought it was like newer, but the pin definitely looks older. And the pin is built into the owl. Does anybody know who this owl is? It's pretty cool. I kind of think he's adorable. I might have to make another lamp. That's what I felt like. Leaving some of these. Oh, is it poo? Really? Well, it's definitely, um, it's not signed or anything, but it's definitely old. Maybe there was a sticker on it at one time. Or maybe it was signed on the necklace. Maybe it hooked to a necklace. I don't know. You guys might want to Google lens that. Why is potato chip out? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't look any of these up. So, all right, we're going to run it. It is pretty awesome. 10 seconds, sudden death, we're running. Who wants the owl? Who, who wants it? Let's, let's see. Thank you for your bids. Thank you. And Lisa got it. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much. You guys give Lisa a follow. She has beautiful jewelry. I have bought from her on multiple occasions. For $12, um, I just messaged Lisa and I said, do you still have this owl? So this is Lisa source over on whatnot. She may have known what it was. She's pretty good with jewelry, but maybe not. She may have resold it on whatnot. I have no idea. But anyway, go give Lisa Source a follow. You can see it below. She does jewelry. She's got a DVD show coming up. It looks like um, Amazon Fulfillment. And I'm not sure. They all have the same thumbnail. So jewelry starts $2. But she's fantastic. All right. So let's look at on WorthPoint. You guys, and if you don't have WorthPoint, this is where WorthPoint is worth it. Okay? Um, it's just a great, great tool. It's kind of pricey. I tell you guys that all the time. I do have videos that show you how it has paid off for me having WorthPoint because I waited a long time to get it. And there, uh, if you just type in WorthPoint Bolo Buddies, I can give you other examples besides this. But this was what I saw when I was researching this guy. All right. I came across this and I'm like, I know that that shape because I remember thinking this looks like a Disney character. You know what I mean? But right here, you see the hole? Remember how I said, oh, it has a hole in it. And it is the exact same mold, but mine is painted. So this one says it sold in November 27th of 2023 for $350. 
now, and it says painted butterscotch. Let's scroll down and look the eyes. I mean, it's yeah. Okay. So we're going to scroll down until we see another one. Martha Sleeper Bakelite Owl. Now this one is painted and looks more like mine. Disney series, it says, sold for $225. We're going to keep scrolling. And this is kind of the same owl, but a different mold or a different shape. And she must have used some sort of mold and then painted them, I would say. This one looks more like mine. It sold for $195, like the colors, the white, where she painted it. $150 on this one in 2005. Here's the same mold as mine, 2021, 150, 127, 50. So, oh, look at this one. Prices are kind of all over the place, but anywhere from $100 to $350, I would say that this owl is probably worth. I would probably price it on the high end. Okay, let's see if there's anything available as far as owls go on eBay right now. It looks like you've got three and none of them look like the one I sold. So if I was Lisa Source, <laughs> I would put this on eBay and price it really high. And you can see here this one. Okay, let's see what this actually sold for. Let's type in the title exactly. And you guys, I talked about Worth Point before. I do have a referral link down below. So um, if you guys use my referral links, I always appreciate that. Thank you so much in advance. I know a lot of you do. I'm going to type this in. So it looks like they took a best offer of 285. Okay. So Terra Peak is a free research tool on eBay, but it does not go back as far. But you can see best offers, what the best offer was for. So 285 on that one. All right, you guys, what do you think? Oh. <gasps> crazy, right? I had no idea. And a lot of times in my grab and sell videos, like I'm doing on tanglings, it's unsearched. I, I'm not looking stuff up so you can get some deals. Uh, I, as you know, don't know a lot about jewelry. If you watch any of my whatnot shows, you're going to see definitely not a jewelry expert. I do try to learn and I've learned a lot from selling on whatnot, but, um, come over, hang out at one of my shows. Uh, again, like I said, even if you don't buy, just come hang out in the chat. It's like a live show. It's an untangling. It's super fun. Um, I'm Bolo Buddies, all one word, lowercase over there. And if you're not on whatnot, you can use my referral link down below to get $15 to shop. So I hope to see you in a future whatnot show and go follow Lisa Source also. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here and thanks for watching.